Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Once again, Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam wa rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala. So before I start tonight, inshallah ta'ala, I actually wanted to uh, let everyone know, inshallah ta'ala, that this next Monday, uh, ta'ala, we're going to be releasing a new series that we just put together in the last couple of weeks called For Those Left Behind. And this is going to be a series um, primarily for communities and families of those that have recently passed away and that are asking a lot of questions, questions about why, questions about how do we connect, questions about um, whether or not the deceased hear us, uh, do they know when we visit, um, do, they, uh, do, do they receive the good deeds that we do on their behalf, what good deeds should we do on their behalf, what dua should we make for them, uh, all of these different questions that constantly come up about death and then some of the practical things. So some of the questions that arise about idda, about uh, aza, um, the waiting period, about the condolences, some of the spiritual dimensions of the janaza, the burial, what are the sunan um, that we should practice uh, in these times, and so many other different things, inshallah ta'ala, that come up. So it's going to be a 15-episode series, inshallah. We just finished recording it, and inshallah ta'ala, we'll start releasing it, um, hopefully, bit the night this Monday, and it will be released daily, inshallah ta'ala, uh, until we complete all 15 episodes so that we can reach those who uh, who need it, inshallah ta'ala. So please be on the lookout for that. And so we'll actually pause the Monday night reminder and continue to pause the first until that is completed. And then we'll restart the first, inshallah ta'ala, in February. Uh, with that, inshallah ta'ala, I wanted to uh, talk today about um, a very special saying um, and concept of how we approach life. And some of you saw the posting about uh, Brother Ihab, rahimahullah ta'ala. And I know that people are dying in different communities. And I just want to tell everyone, by the way, make it a habit that as it comes across your, um, your screen, that this person passed away, my uncle passed away, my mother passed away, whatever it is, that you make dua for people, that you pray for people. Because we're seeing those messages pop up on our Twitter feeds, on our uh, WhatsApp groups, wherever they are. Uh, we're constantly seeing those things pop up. So make dua for people. Here in Dallas, we had four janazas just today. Just today. Brother Ihab, rahimahullah ta'ala, was this friendly, sweet face that you would see every time you went to Brighter Horizons Academy. And um, he always had a joke. He always had warmth that he gave. His wife is a Quran teacher, uh, beautiful family, and just beautiful person. And um, my last memory of him, subhanAllah, is... A janazah that we prayed for Hafid Ibrahim uh, just a few weeks ago, who was a young uh, Hafid that passed away due to cancer. And uh, Brother Ihab was directing the traffic. And subhanAllah, my literally, I remember the image of the hearse uh, going in front of me and him directing the hearse and directing me behind the hearse and waving salam to me. And then subhanAllah, here he is now in the hearse and someone else is directing traffic. So it's really surreal. The way these things um, proceed, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on him and all those that have passed away and comfort their families. Allahumma ameen. So the um, the saying is a saying from Imam Hassan al-Basri rahimahullah ta'ala. Imam Hassan al-Basri rahimahullah ta'ala wrote a letter to Umar ibn Abdul Aziz rahimahullah who asked him to describe the situation of life and death to him. Give him a few words that would help him understand the reality of life. And he responded and he said, He said that life is but a dream. The hereafter is where we are awake. And death is the transition between them. And so life is the dream. The hereafter is where we truly live, where we truly are awake. And death is a transition between them. And we are in a deep sleep. We are in a deep sleep. SubhanAllah, um, there's something very profound about describing life as a dream. And it's something that it's not just from Imam Hassan Basri rahimahullah ta'ala. He did say uh, in other places, he, he said that he likens uh, dunya like a, a man who takes a nap. He sees in his dream what pleases him and what displeases him. And then he wakes up from his nap. So it's like you're taking a nap right now. You're seeing in your dream. Uh, as you are awake, something that makes you happy, something that makes you sad. It's a good dream. It's a bad dream. 
but you wake up from that nap and then that's where you really are awake. And of course, the Prophet said, Allahumma la isha illa isha al akhirah. Oh Allah, there is no life except for the life of the hereafter. Um, so many different sayings to the effect that life is a mirage, life is a dream. And true life begins uh, after we leave this dunya, after we leave this world. I want you to actually think about what the consequences of that are if you approach life in that way. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Mulk, الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْمَوْتَ وَالْحَيَاةِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the one who created death and life. And he begins from the point of death because not existing in this dunya is the default. It's actually the default. The majority of our individual and collective existence is not in this world. It's not in this world. And so you start from the point of, I existed prior to this dunya. I took shape in this dunya and I will exist after this dunya, right? I will move on after this world. You, you start from that default. You start from that place of transition, of a dream, and of real life beginning after this life. And that does a few things to you. Now, first of all, it's important to mention that this dunya, this dream has consequences. It's a test. It's so that we can be tested, right? And we, we have to do in this life what will lead to and it's an eternal life of happiness, an eternal existence of happiness. And so you only have one shot in this life to do what will what will uh, foster better circumstances for you in the next life, which is true life, right? That's something that is very important to understand. So it's not a dream in that we don't take it seriously. It's a dream in regards to its temporary nature. Now, why is that so significant? Have you ever actually been in a dream and known that you were in a dream. You know, I, I, I can relate to a few of those experiences or I can, I can remember a few of those times where I was in a dream and in the midst of that dream, I realized I was dreaming, right? When you know that you are dreaming in the midst of your dream, what happens, right? You're not as saddened by the things that happened to you then. You're not uh, as, as excited about certain things that are happening because you realize it's a dream. And so you are tempered in that regard. And in, in, in this dunya, once we realize it is a dream, it's a mirage, it passes by so quickly. And we will see in it what pleases us and what displeases us. But you know that it is going to come to an end and you know that eventually you're going to wake up. Then that allows you to always keep things in perspective, to always keep things in perspective. And the Prophet وسلم, what would he say to the companions when he would tell the companions that you're going to see very difficult days? He would tell them, be patient until you meet me. Be patient until you meet me, right? So look, it, you're going to wake up. You're going to come out of this dream. And this dream has consequences. So make sure that you do what you need to do in this dream in the short time that you are here. And also don't become a nightmare to someone else. That's not what you want because in the vulma, uh, oppression is dhulumat, is darkness upon darkness upon darkness on the day of judgment. So if you become someone else's nightmare in this life, then you will live a true nightmare on the day of judgment in the hereafter. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from, uh, from that fate. Allahumma ameen. So do in this dream what will cause you to enjoy your true wakefulness in the hereafter and do not become a nightmare to anyone else in this short dream that you have, in the short period that you have on this earth. But approach life that way, approach it that way, so that you are not too attached to what comes in this life, not because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not want you to be happy. No, you find moments of joy and happiness in this life and that's okay, the Prophet some found moments of joy and happiness in this life, but he was never deluded right? He never was deluded by that happiness. And it's not that you don't find sadness. No, empathy comes from a place of, or empathy is related to sadness, right? When we see hurt, uh, we feel sad. We, we see things that cause us sadness, but not to become so disappointed, not to, um, not to despair, because it's a dream. 
So subhanAllah, I mean, this was just something that I was thinking about, um, you know, this this powerful saying from Imam Hassan al-Basri rahimahullah ta'ala, that إِنَّمَا الدُّنْيَا حُلْمٌ وَالْآخِرَةُ يَقَضَ وَالْمَوْتُ مُتَوَصِّطْ وَنَحْنُ فِي أَنْغَاثِ أَحْلَامِ That verily, life is but a dream. The hereafter is where we are awake. And death is just a transition in between. And we are in a deep sleep. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wake us up and allow us to use that wakefulness and that awareness to do good, to do good, so that we could truly live in peace and in, in happiness and in tranquility in the next life, and so that we could do what is beneficial to us, inshallah ta'ala, and beneficial to others in the short time that we have in this life together. Allahumma ameen. Uh, once again, uh, just a reminder, when you see people's names popping up across your screen, uh, that this person passed away and that person passed away, make dua for them. Take a moment to pray for them, to make dua for them. And um, and to be sincere in your dua for them, in your supplication and prayer for them. So don't just scroll through and say, it's just become too many names now. No, take a moment to do so. And inshallah ta'ala, um, I hope with the night ta'ala, the series that we'll start releasing next week will be a benefit uh, to everyone inshallah ta'ala. Jazakumullah khairan. Wassalamu. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. If you enjoyed this video, please do share it with friends and family. If you want to see more videos from this series, click on the box at the top. If you want to see other videos, click on the box at the bottom. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks.